Καλημέρα σε όλους και ευχαριστούμε πολύ για την αποδοχή της πρόσκλησης για την παρακολούθηση αυτού του σεμιναρίου. Ε, θα κάνω μια μικρή εισαγωγή για την Κράνιχ και για τον εαυτό μου για όσους δεν μας γνωρίζουν. Ε, είμαι ο Στάδος Σακαλάκης, είμαι διευθυντής πολίσεων στην Κράνιχ από το 2009. Ε, η εταιρεία μας είναι μια γερμανική πολυεθνική με εξειδίκευση 25 χρόνια χοντρική προμήθεια φωτοβολταϊκού εξοπλισμού. Ε, σήμερα βαριθούμε από 25 υποκαταστήματα σε 23 χώρες και με περίπου 450 εργαζομένους. Ε, η Κλάνιχ έχει πωλήσει σε 60 χώρες σε 5 υπήρους. Το 2019 ο κύκλος εργασιών μας ξεπέρασε το 1 δισεκατομμύριο ευρώ. Ε, συγκεκριμένα για την ελληνική αγορά έχουμε αδιάλειπτη παρουσία από το 2007 ε, με πωλήσει περισσότερο από μισό γίγα σε Ελλάδα, Κύπρο και Βαλκάνια. Από το ελληνικό υποκατάστημα εξυπηρετούμε Ελλάδα, Κύπρο και Βαλκάνια. Ε, οι δομέ μα είναι τα κεντρικά, κεντρικέ αποθήκε Θεσσαλονίκη με γραφεία. Ε, συνεργαζόμαστε με άλλα τέσσερα κέντρα διανομή για να εξυπηρετήσουμε το πελατολόγιό μας ε, και γραφεία στην Αθήνα. Ε, τα τελευταία 13 χρόνια έχουμε δουλέψει με 2000, περίπου 2.000 μοναδικά αφημίες στην ελληνική αγορά και σαν εταιρεία εξυπηρετούμε το DC κομμάτι της εγκατάστασης ε, με κύριο όγκο πωλήσεων, πάνελ και invert. Συγκεκριμένα για τους inverters ε, Ξεκίνησε πριν περίπου ένα εξάμεινο μια κεντρική συμφωνία με την Goodwill από τη Γερμανία. Ε, ο στόχος είναι να δουλέψουμε μαζί τους σε κεντρικό επίπεδο σε όλες τις χώρες που δραστηριοποιείται η Κράνης. Στην ελληνική αγορά, ε, σε συνεννόηση με, με την Goodwill, ο στόχος μας είναι να, να υποστηρίξουμε όσο καλύτερα γίνεται το προϊόν για το οποίο έχουμε ήδη πιστή για, τη, για την ποιότητά του και για την ατιότητά του. Υπάρχουν ήδη ε, κατεστημένα έργα ε, περίπου ένα εξάμεινο όπου τα πρώτα δείγματα είναι απόλυτα ενθαρρυντικά και μας, ε, μας βοηθάει στο να αισθανόμαστε μία σιγουριά. Ε, εκτός από την εξαιρετική επικοινωνία με τα κεντρικά της Goodway, ε, σημαντικό ρόλο στην απόφαση να συμπεριλάβουμε τα προϊόντα της Goodway στο, στο πορτφόλιό μας είναι και η, η κίνηση που κάναν να υποστηρίξουν σε τοπικό επίπεδο ε, με τον Τρίφωνα Παυλίδη ε, το τεχνικό κομμάτι ε, για οτιδήποτε συμβεί μετά την πώληση, γιατί για μας είναι το πλέον σημαντικό κομμάτι να ξέρουμε ότι μπορούμε να στηρίξουμε το περατολόγιο μας ε, αφού ολοκληρωθεί το κομμάτι της πώληση. Οπότε ευελπιστούμε ότι μετά την περιπέτεια της πανδημίας και το υποφαινόμενο άνοιγμα της αγοράς στο δεύτερο εξάμεινο του 20 και θέλουμε να πιστεύουμε ε, μια πολύ καλή αγορά του 2021 ότι η Goodwill θα είναι ένα από τα βασικά προϊόντα της Κράνης ε, και σε συνεργασία με την κατασκευάστη εταιρεία ε, και το τοπικό support ε, θα καταφέρουμε να εξυπηρετήσουμε το περατολόγιο μας με ένα σωστό προϊόν ε, το οποίο θα μας βγάλει στους πρόσωπους μεροντικά για, για τις αποδόσεις που όλοι επιθυμούν. Ε, θα δώσω το λόγο στο Βάλτε για να ξεκινήσει το διαδικτυακό σεμινάριο. Σας ευχαριστώ και πάρα πολύ για, τη, για την παρουσία σας. Βάλτε, I think that I have already completed my short introduction, so it's your turn. Okay. Thank you very much, Stavros. And uh, thank you for the invitation for this uh, webinar. We are very pleased to be here in uh, cooperation with Kranich. Um, first of all, uh, uh, let me give you some information. Uh, we have a, a global partnership with uh, Kranich in Europe, and uh, uh, we are uh, achieving a very uh, interesting and important uh, result in terms of sales and cooperation across the several European countries. That's why we are very pleased to extend this cooperation as well uh, to uh, Greece. And the reason I'm here today is to give uh, all of you a brief presentation uh, about our company and focus a bit about uh, 
of our range of products uh, and the solution we propose for the Greek market, uh, which uh, uh, we think uh, uh, has a very interesting potential of growth in next month and for the next years. So let me start with my uh, presentation. Um, first of all, let me uh, put myself uh, uh, okay in this way. Okay, so um, our presentation I will start. Uh, uh, so first of all, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is uh, Walter Piske. I'm the sales manager of Southern Europe uh, for uh, uh, Goodry. Um, I'm Italian. Uh, my family is living in the Brindisi, which is just front side of uh, uh, Greece. Uh, let's say I know Greece very well. As uh, you know, we always say una faccia una razza. So uh, we are very close uh, in terms of mentality uh, with the, the Greek uh, uh, customers. So uh, first of all, um, we want to thank you for the participation, uh, for the time that you will spend following this webinar. Because of this, uh, we make a small joke. So at the end of the webinar, we, we will put five simple questions to you. And among all of those uh, which will answer correctly to these uh, five uh, questions, we will extract three Amazon purchase vouchers for 150, 150 euros. This is a small joke just to thank you for the time that you will spend following our presentation. But most important is uh, the second promotional. So uh, we want to show that uh, we are on the side of our customers. And uh, for all the customers who register to this event, uh, our partner Kranich will apply a discount on the purchase of Goodby products, uh, a special discount, which will be val valid until the end of September. The details of this promotion will be given to you by Kranich. Now let's move briefly about uh, Goodwe. So uh, Goodwe is a, a Chinese producer of uh, inverters. We are the third uh, producer in China, but the first uh, in, the, in the distribution channel in China. Uh, we are more than uh, 1,000 employees in all the world. 25% uh, of our uh, people are engineers. In, um, involved in R&D, and this is extremely important because uh, inverters are technical uh, devices. So it's important uh, that we can develop uh, ourselves and improve uh, uh, any product that we offer to the market. We have all, all, over 130 patents uh, deposited by us, meaning that uh, every product we develop and introduce to the market is due to, the, to our internal know-how. And our production capacity nowadays is over 8 giga, uh, which will reach over 12 giga by end of this year. It's a really important number just to give you the uh, feeling um, of the relevance of the business of Goodwe. So Goodwe um, uh, headquarters is uh, in China, and uh, we have, uh, uh, let's say, important presence in all the neighbors' country. Uh, we have uh, historically a big uh, uh, presence in Australia, in India, in South America. Uh, last year, we have uh, uh, started the introduction in the Northern American countries. And in 2018, we have opened the European subsidiary in Munich, which has uh, the um, responsibility over all the EMEA countries. So from Munich, uh, uh, we control uh, all the business developed by uh, our customers, uh, our partners uh, in all the European countries, in Russia, Ukraine, South Africa. So, as we say, Goodwe is a global player, but uh, uh, we say also that uh, uh, we have uh, a strong local presence. Uh, reporting to Greece, uh, we have uh, a pre-post-sale service, first and second level, uh, by the support of Mr. Trifonas Pavilidis, and uh, we are very happy to have him on board with us, thanks to uh, his long experience uh, on the inverter business and his uh, uh, strong uh, knowledge about the Greek uh, market. We have our technical supervisor, Alessandro Fabio. Unfortunately, he is not with us today. He has just got a baby, so we are happy for him. And uh, uh, let's say, 
he has other priorities for this week, definitely. Then uh, um, there is myself uh, for uh, sales and business development, uh, Walter Pisk, as I said, and the host of this webinar is uh, Miss, uh, Miss Giorgia Dolzani, our uh, senior uh, marketing manager, which is in charge for uh, uh, developing the brand awareness uh, and the marketing activity uh, in all the MA accounts. Our numbers in 2019, uh, we have sold over four giga of inverters all over the world with a turnover over 1,030 1, million uh, US dollars. So these are important numbers just to let you understand uh, the relevance uh, of Goodry all around the world. Uh, our milestone, the company has been founded in 2010. So we are celebrating this year 10 years of our activity. In uh, 2012, we entered the international market. In 2014, we launched the first hybrid inverter. Uh, 2016, for the first time, our inverters had been displayed at IKEA workshop. And we started our cooperation with the BYD, uh, leading uh, uh, battery producer, and with Two Final, which is taking care for the certification of our products. In 2017, we started our partnership with Taigo uh, for the um, optimizer on the module integrated with our inverters in 2018 we as i said if we open our european subsidiary and we achieved uh, the number one market share in the distribution channel in china and in the 2019 we have opened our new headquarter and the new production plan now uh, our product range uh, our product range uh, is divided in two uh, let's say um, division let's call it this way one is the string inverters which you can see here briefly uh it's a full range complete range of products so we start from the excess which is a one phase inverter with m and one mppt starting from uh, 0 0.7 uh, kilowatt so very small with a4 size so it's a very small device especially design for residential application. We have a full range of monophase inverters. Uh, and then we have uh, the three phases inverter, starting from four kilowatt up to 80 kilowatt. This is currently our range of product in the three phases, but I will show you later that we are going ahead with a new class, which is called HT. So you see, it's a complete range of product covering all the necessity of our bar. In parallel, we have also a very wide uh, uh, range of product for the energy storage. This business is not yet developed in Greece, but is very strong uh, in countries like Germany, Italy, and Spain, as an example. And uh, as you can see here, the range of product we offer uh, is extremely wide. Uh, really, we are the first company in the world offering such a wide range of product for hybrid. So we have monophase, three-phase, working with the low voltage and high voltage batteries, retrofit and all-in-one. And because of this wide range and the success of our work on the storage, we have been uh, uh, awarded by Wood Mackenzie to be the number one world supplier of storage inverters. All of our inverters have a degree of protection IP65. This is important because uh, it means that they are suitable for outdoor installation, but basically this means that all of our inverters has a protection, a high protection against dust and humidity. So they can work uh, for a long time without uh, uh, degradation. Um, let's go now to revise the product we offer for commercial, industrial, and let's call small ground-mounted projects. Uh, the product we offer for this application is the inverter of are the inverters of the MT series. You see here uh, the picture of this inverter. Um, this is the technical data sheet. I don't want you to have a look to uh, every single detail, but uh, just note the following: we have a very uh, wide range of product within the MT series to match with any project specification. You see, you, we have 50K, 60K, the N version, the BF version, and so on. And this is very important. It's a, a class of uh, inverter, which is very flexible, 
can match any requirement for any specific project you can have. As an example, you can have uh, the input uh, on the DC side at 1000 or 1100 volts, or you can have the output on the AC side or, uh, at 400 or 540 volts. Uh, you can have a multiple string for each MPPT you see here, they are reported uh, uh, in this uh, uh, row. And uh, uh, these are the next series, uh, which you see the exit on the AC side is at 400, 540 volts. But another extremely important uh, uh, point is the full set of integrated protection, which uh, our MT series has. You can see here, we have the PV string current monitoring, anti sliding protection, input reverse polarity protection, insulation monitoring, uh, DC fuse, anti-PID, SPD, DC and AC side. So all of these protection are integrated in our system, which means you don't need to put this protection out of this uh, inverter. They are already integrated, so it's a big saving for your cost. Um, um, as I mentioned, you can have uh, an exit at 380 volt uh, AC, and this is uh, uh, what we standard design uh, for a commercial industrial a small utility scale project. You can have an exit at 500 or 540 volt AC, uh, typically for ground mounted and new big utility scale uh, uh, project. You have the version of which are the BF for bifacial modules, so can be are already adapted for the use of bifacial modules. And uh, for special countries like Brazil, Norway, and Spain, we have also uh, the version uh, with the low voltage, we call low voltage, 30, 35, and, key, and the 50K uh, uh, version. Um, if you, we have a look to the solution uh, with the exit at 380 volt AC, the typical uh, configuration is the following. You have the photovoltaic modules, our inverter, then you have an AC distribution box, you have the loads here, the grid connection, and uh, through an external connection, all the monitoring data are displayed on our SAMS portal. This is a typical configuration for this kind of uh, uh, exit. Uh, for the solution with the, the exit at 500 or 540 uh, 40 volt AC, Typical configuration is with PV modules, the inverter, a C distribution box, a trafo, and uh, uh, the connection to the grid. So this is typically when uh, uh, you have a, uh, um, a, an incentive tariff. So you are paid for the energy that you transfer to the grid. Here, as an example, the um, uh, monitoring data can be transferred through PLC, which is one of the characteristics of our system. And I will speak later about this. Um, the new HT series that we are launching now on the market, this is uh, the um, picture of the system. It will have uh, 100, 120, 136, and 250 kilowatt. So it will be four different uh, power av av availability. And especially this device at 250 kilowatt will have uh, 1,500 volt DC input. So this is uh, the version typically designed for large utility scale projects. Um, here, again, we will have two um, classes. The one class is with exit at 380 volt AC, typically the 100 and 120 kilovolts. And this will be still uh, uh, an extension of our MT series uh, for a commercial rooftop or for small uh, ground mounted project. And the um, two version with the uh, exit at the 400, 500, or 540 volt AC uh, are the version, of, let's say, specially designed for utility scale project. Um, what, uh, let me give uh, you some hints of what are the main uh, distinctive features of our uh, MT series. So, uh, first of all, uh, uh, you can, uh, get the, uh, our uh, inverters with or without a display. Uh, this is, uh, the, the price difference is uh, not so relevant, but uh, uh, it's important to, to know that uh, we can offer both. So 
If you prefer working with the display, then you can choose this version. If you don't want or you want to save, or it's a large installation where really you cannot assess each single inverter, then you can use the uh, version without the display. And the uh, display, uh, which can be used, you can see here, for the um, setting of all parameters for installation. If it's without the display, then you will use a, a specialized app for this installation and the commissioning of your inverter. Another interesting feature is the fact that uh, um, on the DC side, there are integrated DC fuses and SPD, which means that the PV string can be connected to the inverter directly without string boxes. This is very important because it's, it's a big saving for you. So you just set your string and you just enter the inverter connecting uh, to the 4 MPPT without the need of any DC box. Uh, as I said before, you can use uh, or uh, the, um, uh, let's say, dialog uh, um, menu that you have on your display for the configuration and commissioning, or you can use a, a simple app uh, which can be installed on your mobile phone, on your, on your PC, to uh, install and commission your inverter. So both of them are very easy to use. It's up to you to follow uh, the one that you prefer. Um, another important feature is the fact, as you can see here, that we have three uh, uh, fans for cooling the system. And the degree of protection of these three fans is IP68, which means uh, extremely high degree of protection. And uh, the goodness of the uh, electric and thermal project behind our inverter is uh, uh, so good that uh, we can say that we don't have any derating of uh, our inverters uh, up to 50 degrees. And this is uh, extremely important, uh, especially when you consider uh, installation uh, in very hot condition like you can have on the Greek market. And uh, this uh, capability is due to the very good uh, cooling performance which is uh, given by the presence of these uh, three fans here. Um, we have the version of four uh, bifacial modules, as I said, and uh, the importance of this version is the fact that you can uh, achieve a very high current uh, on the AC side. This is an example uh, as respect to a, a competitor product. So the, the, the bifacial version is able to work with the bifacial modules, so it's capable to handle higher voltage and most of all higher uh, uh, currents and transfer this current on the AC side. So this is the big advantage of this uh, BF version of our inverter. So any time you plan to use bifacial modules, uh, remember that you can use a special BF model of our MT series, which will, have, will help you to get uh, the maximum advantage in terms of uh, uh, output current. Um, another feature which is uh, quite important uh, is the possibility for our inverter to work without uh, the neutral cable. So it's an option. Uh, it's clear if you consider a large installation, the fact that you can save on the cost of one cable it could be a relevant uh, saving. So you have this possibility here as a standard, so you can use or you, can, uh, you, or you cannot use, it's not a problem, the neutral cable, and so uh, it, this is, a, as I said, another big saving for you. Another uh, feature which uh, we are going to implement uh, uh, in next future, it's a project we are uh, in the final stage of development, is the possibility to perform the IV diagnosis. This is extremely important anytime you make uh, uh, maintenance and uh, control of your plant. You can do that from remote, uh, just with pushing one button, let's say. And this is uh, extremely uh, interesting because uh, it helps you to understand exactly what is uh, the functioning uh, um, uh, profile of all the string of your uh, installation. So anytime you have uh, uh, large installation, this is, uh, is a big uh, save for you in terms of cost, main work, and also in terms of time. 
Um, we say that by using empty inverters by Goodby, you can get higher yields. Why? First of all, uh, because uh, our system has four MPPT. The fact that you have four MPPT is a big advantage. Anytime, as an example, you have a very special, I would say crazy uh, situation like this, but it's also very important anytime you have shadowing or you have clouds which, which are partially covering your module. So in case you have less MPPT, anytime you have shadowing or um, clouds which cover the sunlight, you lose a lot of the energy uh, of all your plant. But if you can divide your plant in four, uh, let's say, section, one for each MPPT, anytime you have a shadow, only this section will be affected uh, by this uh, problem. So all the rest of the plant will start and will continue working properly. So this is why we say that we, you can get higher yields with our system. Another uh, interesting uh, uh, feature of our system is the capability to have uh, uh, up to 50% DC, DC oversights and up to 20% AC overload. Uh, this is a big uh, um, feature. Anytime you have to handle uh, the, uh, let's say, uh, requirements uh, on the project where uh, the uh, grid owner impose you to have a maximum as an example of input on the DC side, or anytime you have to uh, increase the, the power on the DC side to get, uh, uh, let's say, the AC output that you need. So the capability to have up to 50% DC oversize means, as an example, that the MT80 can easily handle up to 120 uh, kilowatt on the DC side of PV module. And uh, you can get up to 96 kilowatt output on the AC side. It's clear that by playing with these two, and uh, these are granted without derating, uh, you can easily design uh, your system according you, to your local needs in terms of grid operator and in terms of climatic uh, conditions. Uh, another feature is which I mentioned at the beginning, you can choose between the model with 1000 uh, volt uh, uh, DC input or 1100 volt. It's clear the version with 1100 allows you to put two more modules per string as uh, you can see from this calculation here. So again, you can have a longer string, so you can save uh, on the uh, connection cables and all these stuff. So your configuration will be easier and you can get uh, more power per string uh, to be uh, then uh, fed to, through the inverter to the grid. Another interesting feature is uh, the very low startup voltage for MT series. It's 200 volt only. And this means that uh, or also um, um, a light, uh, uh, let's say, a small sunlight, like you have in the early morning or in the evening, even with these small lights, small sunlights, the system is capable to work. So you get the advantage of this uh, early and this late light to get additionally 0 0.3 up to 0 0.5 high energy than uh, other brands, which as an example, can have a startup, uh, startup voltage at 600 volt. Um, but apart from this, we also uh, say that you have a lower OPEX, which is the operating uh, uh, expenditure. Uh, so the cost for uh, operation with the good we in, uh, invert. Why? First of all, because uh, we offer the possibility for uh, uh, install our inverter on the walls, so you can put uh, very easily, you don't need a special cabinet, uh, uh, remember the IP65 degree of protection, so you can put uh, easily in any configuration, like as an example this one, which is just behind the, uh, the PP module, and this uh, is a, a clear um, an advantage because you, know, you don't need an external cabinet, and then also you know, um, maintenance is easy to assess this inverter. But additionally, we have also qualified this kind of solution, so you can put uh, the inverter also horizontally uh, with this uh, kind of coverage here, 
and this uh, has been requested for some special project but just keep in mind this is another possibility that you can use which can be also an effective solution whenever uh, it's better to have uh, this kind of configuration uh, the MT series is uh, built uh, in the block as you can see here each block uh, is, is uh, let's say physically integrated but also separated from the other blocks so we have a windshield here then we have the heat sink the external cooling fan then uh, we have the power board the communication board the input board the output board and the front panel so you see very clearly separation among all the components in the system and because of this uh, from the operational point of view you have a big uh, uh, saving because as an example you can easily dismount the fans uh, which and this can be easily replaced uh, without affecting the normal functioning of the system but also the uh, the fuses can be uh, replaced with a plug-in uh, situation very simple to assess you see here so you can open the front cover and then you can replace the fuses very very simply in case of any uh, failure of the system uh, basically you can replace the single boards here without changing all the rest of the machine which means again a big saving in terms of cost and timing for you another important feature is the capability of our MT series to have a, a monitoring at the string level uh, this is extremely important again when uh, performing maintenance uh, uh, OEM let's say because uh, you can easily understand uh, if you have any problem at string level so you can identify where the problem is and you can just focus your intervention on that string without checking all the rest of the plan um, we say that uh, our uh, thermal and electrical design allow uh, our system to have a long life cycle and uh, uh, we offer this by saying that uh, our system are reliable and safe why first of all because uh, we perform a full set of tests to ensure the long life durability you see here just few of the the tests that we normally perform on all of our inverters but uh, we have also some features which uh, uh, normally you cannot uh, appreciate without opening the inverter that's why we, we show in this picture as an example um, we have a, a thin capacitor uh, instead uh, of a standard capacitor and this uh, ensure uh, four times longer uh, life uh, as respect uh, to electrolytic capacity so it's uh, a, a small detail in the electrical project but just to give you an example on the uh, good quality uh, of the product that we use and also on the smartness of the uh, electrical project that we uh, made to uh, set up the MT inverter um, Another extremely important feature is uh, the protection against lightning on the DC and the AC side and also on the communication boards. Uh, we have integrated type 2 SPD on DC and the AC side, but also type 3 SPD on the communication board. So this uh, ensures that really in case of any extra lighting, uh, you have a full protection of your system in case uh, you have a, a burning of one of these uh, uh, SPD, uh, anyway, the system will, start, will continue to work, even though, uh, of course, it has been to be replaced. But it's clear that this uh, uh, kind of protection uh, ensure you uh, that uh, the system is fully protected against uh, atmospheric accident. Uh, another, um, particular uh, which is uh, not uh, so evident uh, uh, unless you know in detail our uh, project is the fact that uh, the philosophy behind uh, all of our project is the multiple redundant protection uh, this is used basically in aircraft uh, engine as an example just to give you an idea so all of our philosophy of construction is based on multiple redundant protection to guarantee uh, an interrupted operation of the inverter with the long life cycle. 
Um, the typical application scenario with the good V inverter, uh, as an example, uh, we can have uh, uh, this situation. Uh, I'm not sure this is uh, very common in uh, Greece, but in other markets it's extremely common, which is the requirement of, for the limitation of the uh, output power. In this case, uh, uh, as an example, when you have no load consumption, or as, a, as an example, uh, ground mounted project, you can set the power limit and then uh, you can match uh, with, as an example, the requirement given by the grid operator, which say I can only accept uh, one mega as an input, then uh, you can easily play with the power limit value and uh, the PV uh, input value of your module to uh, adjust the functioning of your system in order to match with the requirement of the grid operator. Another uh, similar situation, I will say, is in the case of a uh, uh, commercial rooftop project where you have the loads uh, which are fed by the PV. In this case, uh, um, we use a special <coughs> communication board which is called SEC 1000, which integrates uh, the, uh, fun the function of the, the um, the system for monitoring and uh, by this uh, CT that are placed on the power cable here, uh, it, this uh, SEC 1000 can control the output power. So the difference between the two is that uh, in the previous case, uh, basically, uh, you don't have any load consumption. In this case, you have a load consumption. So uh, you can use the two different uh, configurations depending uh, if you have or not have the uh, load consumption. Another uh, features, uh, again, uh, this is very common uh, uh, in Italy, in Germany, in Spain, is uh, uh, the capability of the system, uh, the possibility of the system to handle the reactive power. This is uh, uh, mandatory in many uh, situations, and uh, our system is capable to do that uh, automatically. So is is able to ad adjust the reactive power and this is extremely important any time uh, uh, also the grid operator requires uh, this parameter to be adjusted. So, and this is uh, another functionality which is already integ integrated in our MP system. Another feature so which uh, I think could be of also interest for the installation in Greece is the emergency, sh the emergency uh, shutdown from remote. Uh, which is capable to turn off all the inverters immediately. Uh, this function can be applied to a set up to 40 inverters and the reaction time is less than 0.5 seconds. It's extremely interesting anytime you can have an accident on your PV plant and you want to switch off the, um, the feeding of the energy uh, to the grid. Uh, just to complete uh, a possible scenario is uh, the following. When you, you have uh, uh, the PV system, which are controlled by our inverter, uh, you have a battery system, you have a diesel generator. So our uh, inverter through the controller, the EIF, can work in a network like this very efficiently to manage the flow of energy from these different sources up to this, um, up to the grid. So it's already designed for this micro grid application. Um, the communication of the data, of the monitoring data, can be done in different modes. The easiest is with Wi Fi. Uh, uh, normally, our uh, inverter are equipped with Wi Fi, uh, but Wi Fi, you know, um, you can have problem of communication. And without obstacles, uh, the, uh, the distance between, uh, let's say, the, um, the source of data and uh, uh, our inverter could be maximum 50 meters. So let's say is a, is a, a communication uh, system which is normally used uh, mainly, I would say, for small application, uh, typically for residential. But uh, uh, we can use uh, and this is also integrated in our MT system, the RS-485 communication. In this case, uh, uh, the communication is made by cable. 
the distance is up to 1,000 meters or one kilometer, and you can connect uh, up to 16 inverter by using our data logger system, which is called Easy Data Logger Pro, which can control up to 60 inverters. So in this case, uh, um, uh, is a plug and play solution, uh, and also this solution is integrated in, uh, out, um, as a standard in our MT series. So typically, you see here a possible configuration. Uh, this is for, as an example, an installation of an industrial building, but is also um, a feasible a solution for small uh, ground-mounted uh, installation. Another possibility is uh, to use PLC. Uh, so the data are transferred through the power lane. Uh, this is uh, extremely important, uh, I would say, especially when you have a large-scale installation because you can save uh, on the cost to set up uh, an alternative uh, uh, line of communication. You can use the power cable for that. So it's a, a, a big saving. In this case, we uh, recommend to use the SCB2000 uh, connection box and uh, communication box. So the configuration is the following. Through the AC line, the uh, monitoring data are transferred to the SCB2000 and through uh, RJ45, to the next exchanger to the cloud and to our monitoring system, which is called SEMS, that we will see later on. In this case, the PLC maximum communication distance is one kilometer, and up to 40 inverters can be connected to this communication box. Another uh, possibility for communication is uh, the case where you have uh, several plants, uh, let's say, not in the same uh, location, but quite close one each other. In this case, you can use uh, optical fiber for communication up to 20 kilometers, extremely fast, uh, extremely reliable. And again, in this case, you can use the power lane, power line uh, um, data monitoring transfer to the SCB2000. And again, the SCB2000 can be used to connect via optical fiber all the four, uh, like in this example, all the four plants and send the communication data to the next uh, exchanger and then to the cloud. The maximum communication distance is 20 kilometers and you can connect up to 40 inverters to one SCB2000 box. Uh, similar to the previous one is the following where the communication of the data is given through the RS485 cable to the SCB2000, but again, the network is made by the optical fiber. Again, the distance is 20 kilometer, and by using this solution, you can connect up to 60 inverter to one SCB 1000. This is the version of the communication box we recommend for this. Another solution, again, which can be implemented is via LAN. In this case, uh, is via cable. Uh, the communication distance is 100 meter. So, as you see, very different possibility all of them can be easily implemented in our system. Or now the SEMS data monitoring portal. This is uh, where all the monitoring data are transferred. Um, the important thing is that this system, this uh, uh, cloud uh, system is free. So you can access uh, without any fee uh, for um, any time you want. There is no time limitation. And it's a very powerful system because, uh, as you see, all the relevant information about your system are displayed on the same uh, uh, screen. So here, as an example, you can have all the basic information about your system, the system type, the type of module, the capacity, the construction date, the location, and so on. Here, you can have a small graph with the cumulative data, daily, monthly, annual. Here, you can have a diagram of total production with instant value, daily graphs, or historical graphs. Here, you can have some icons with the accumulated generation, operational status, uh, also the value of the incomes that you are getting. Uh, this uh, is an example where you're using a hybrid system, so you have also an indication about the state of charge of your batteries. And this is, a, let's say, a more technical area where you have the typical system parameter, power, tension, current, uh, a string level, uh, information, inverter state. So it's extremely powerful, very easy to use. 
But not only that, as you can see from this picture, uh, if you have uh, several plants that you are monitoring, you can combine on the same screen information coming from different uh, plants. So it's a, a kind of puzzle you can set up by yourself and you can have on the same screen all the information that you like coming from different, uh, um, from different uh, installation, from different PV plants. So it's a really powerful OEM uh, device that you can use. Um, to uh, make uh, the design of your project, you can use our EZ Designer. Uh, it's a tool uh, which we put on our website. It's uh, free. Uh, you can easily um, uh, use it. Uh, you can easily register. It's, uh, there is also a demo which is uh, showing how it works. Uh, in principle, you can select the temperature installation side, the module type, the number of modules string, uh, the orientation of the string. Then you can uh, get as a first output the best type of good inverters that uh, match better with your type of uh, module. Then you can choose the DC oversize versus AC overload ratio. And you can also choose the DC cable specs. The result of this uh, work uh, gives you the layout and the schematic uh, of your system. Very easy to use. Uh, the database of the module uh, is not including all the modules because you know now the number of modules in the world is extremely high, but you can easily input uh, yourself the data of the module to use this uh, EZ design. Um, the compatibility, uh, the communication protocol of our system is open uh, API. Uh, so the communication data are transferred uh, through our uh, data logger to the cloud uh, and can be displayed on the SAMS. But through the um, um, exchange of this API, this data can be also uh, transferred to a third party server, which can be used for uh, let's say, external uh, uh, elaboration. And also, uh, all of our system, uh, or the communication protocol for our system has a, a full compatibility with the SunSpec, which is the major communication uh, protocol used by the major uh, number of devices in the world. So as an example, our inverter is full compatible with uh, uh, third-part monitoring devices, like data logger, uh, metro control, and so on or uh, there is a full compatibility with the SCADA. So uh, again, um, also for large installation, the system, uh, the, the, the data can be easily transferred uh, and uh, managed uh, for be, uh, to be, let's say, controlled uh, and handled uh, through the uh, SCADA system. Uh, again, uh, another uh, easily compatibility with uh, any kind of weather station. So, as you see, uh, we are compatible uh, very easily with all third-party devices. So any, um, any situation can be easily matched through uh, the open compatibility pro protocol of our inverters. Um, for coming now to the specific of a Greek market. Uh, for the Greek market, uh, or for a typical 500 kilowatt, uh, project or also for multiple of 500 kilowatts, what is our recommendation? Our recommendation is the use of a sixth uh, machine 80k MT uh, that you can see here. Uh, by this six machine you have uh, 16 MPPT available with a 4444 input string up to 24 PV module per string and 1100 volt DC. This is uh, already proven on the Greek market works very well, uh, allows you to use only six machines, so it's a saving also in terms of cost, is reliable, proven, and it works perfectly. But what we also put to your attention is, uh, as I mentioned before, the capability of our system to work with 50% DC oversizing and 20% AC overload. If you take this into account, then uh, it means that, as an example, an 80 kilowatt uh, inverter can accept up to 120 kilowatt per MT, and uh, uh, you can have up to 96 kilowatt per MT machine. By taking this into account, then the design could be also by using only five 
80K MT for a 500 kilo project. And according to our calculation, the performance ratio is exactly the same in the two cases. So we recommend this solution with six machines, but we also tell you, consider this possibility. Of course, this possibility is strictly related to the atmospheric condition of the installation site. Extremely high temperature uh, can, let's say, affect the effectiveness of this solution. But in standard condition, I would say that also the five MT80, uh, five machine solution could be workable. So uh, we are open then to discuss with you about the two configuration. Um, let me come now uh, to some references. First of all, um, we have recently announced our global partnership with the General Electric. Uh, this partnership uh, uh, comes after one year due diligence, which has been done by General Electric among 30 different uh, inverter producers. At the end of this long due diligence, uh, General Electric selected Goodwin has uh, the preferential partner. So we have signed this exclusive agreement uh, worldwide. And thanks to this agreement, uh, we will launch uh, in, uh, within this year three inverters uh, with, that we call them uh, top quality or high uh, quality uh, inverter uh, with the brand of General Electric. And this uh, will be sold or by Goodwill or also by General Electric. And this uh, uh, high quality, high performance in, uh, inverter will be initially launched in three uh, areas, North America, Brazil, and Australia. So we will start in this way with this, uh, let's say, uh, high performance inverter, uh, this cooperation with General Electric. But uh, of course, uh, the aim is to extend this cooperation to other countries and include in this uh, uh, cooperation other range of our products. But uh, anyway, it was important for me to give you this uh, information because we are very proud for this uh, cooperation with General Electric. Another relevant reference for us is that uh, uh, our inverter has been MT, has been the first to get the new VDARN4110 certification by two Freiman. And this is uh, the certification for middle voltage grid integration, which is the most strict one in Europe. So we are so proud to tell you that Goodwin has been the, the first uh, inverter producer to achieve this certification in Germany. Just to give you an example of uh, uh, the big effort that we have done uh, to make this machine very reliable uh, and uh, capable to be used also in very competitive market like the German one. Just to mention, so far we have sold up to one giga of these empty inverters worldwide. Last year we signed a, an agreement of 200 mega with Tata Group in India. And in India you can imagine how tough are the atmospheric condition, very high temperature, very high humidity. So it's really empty machine is really uh, a very reliable machine, very successful all over the world, and we are sure that it will be the same also on the Greek market. Other uh, um, knowledge uh, we got uh, um, uh, by I, 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 IHS, as an example, uh, we are definitely among the first 10 inverter producers in the world, close to the fifth position. Uh, we have got four, four Subsequent years, the award for uh, all quality matters, but two final. Uh, oh, we also got the red dot uh, uh, award. So this just to give you, I mean, it's a game, <laughs> but uh, fortunately in this game, we are getting a lot of uh, uh, good uh, prices for our activity. Um, this is uh, an example of the uh, one installation made uh, in Greece with, with our inverter. You see the inverter are just below the PV module. It's a 500 kilowatt installed in Xanti in Greece. Uh, you can get all details about this uh, through Trifonas, which is the monitoring uh, and uh, um, just monitoring. <laughs> there are no problems on this uh, plant, so it's just monitoring. He can share with you the good result of production of this plant. 
But uh, just to give you some other example of our uh, installation all over the world, this is a 25 mega into China. Uh, strange, crazy, uh, I don't know which uh, adjective to use, but you see how complicated is this scenario and how good is the use of MT inverters because of this uh, different orientation of the module uh, across the 25 mega. Uh, this is uh, the largest uh, PV installation made by, uh, uh, with our MT inverters, is uh, uh, 43 mega uh, again in China. But we have, as, a, as an example, this 2 mega uh, LG project in South Korea, which is quite interesting. Ah, this is also quite interesting. Uh, Bosch India decided to use our inverters uh, for their uh, PV plant on their rooftop of their factory. So the fact that Bosch has decided to use Goodwe is a good, extremely good reference for us. But also Siemens made the same choice. So <laughs> you see uh, two important and relevant German brands has chosen Goodwe. So good uh, uh, result for us. Other six mega in uh, Mangalore in India. This to show you the chemical environment where our inverter are installed and Remember, the IP65 means also protection against, uh, let's say, aggressive uh, external situation. Uh, this is a 10 mega closer to us in Holland, 11 mega also built in Holland, uh, 6 mega in the Turkey, uh, 16 mega in Turkey again with the old generation of MT inverter, 18 mega in Turkey. Just to finish my presentation now, let me. Uh, Try to answer to the basic question. Why you should choose Goodwin? First of all, for the full range of product. As I said, we start from 0 0.7 kilowatt up to 80 kilowatt. So we cover all the range. And with the HT series, we also arrive up to 250 kilowatts. So anytime a distributor and an installer choose Goodwin, there is no reason to change. You can have an answer to all of your needs by using good with products. So basically, we, uh, we give uh, the proper answer to all of your needs. On top, we have nine different storage inverter models. This is not relevant for Greece, but for other countries, uh, it is very relevant. Our production capacity, 88 giga. This year, we will arrive to 12 giga. And this means that we can cover any size of project. For small project, uh, of course, uh, the distributor is our partner, small, medium size, even large project. But if there is a utility scale project, we have no problem uh, with our production capacity to uh, um, offer the products. So this is also another reason why choosing good. Another important reason, our internal R&D, which is state of the art, we have 200 people in R&D, 60 software engineers, 130 patent deposited by us. This means that um, we can answer to all of your needs. We are listening to customers, getting their inputs for product development and improvement. And because we have our internal R&D, we can offer a solution to all of your needs. Our um, test era is certified by TOOF. So again, an indication of the high quality uh, of our structure. Our SAM system, we are controlling uh, close to 500,000 uh, inverters all over the world. It's a very power, powerful system, very easy to use, giving you all the information uh, uh, about your system. It's very powerful. So we put it free of charge to, uh, you can use it free of charge. And this is another reason why easily you can use uh, uh, for any kind of project. Finally, we say that Goodwill is an international player, but with a strong local presence. Uh, we try as much as possible to be a Greek company. So we have a, a Trifonas as technical manager. We, we work with the main uh, partners uh, in Greece, like Kranich. Uh, we have our technical supervisor. There is myself um, for all commercial needs. We have Georgia for marketing and uh, brand uh, promotion. So uh, you see, 
as I say, we are international player, but with a strong local friends. So our, uh, what we say is a good we, good choice. Is really, anytime you choose good we, it's a good choice for you. Now to uh, come to the end of my presentation, uh, this is the small, the small questionnaire. Uh, it's simple, uh, and as I said, uh, among all of us, all of you which will answer correctly to our question, we will extract three um, Amazon vouchers. Uh, you can send uh, um, the answer or in the Q&A on the chat that you have uh, uh, on the uh, platform or by mail uh, to directly to Stavros or to us, doesn't matter, uh, to Kranich, I mean. So you can send uh, the answer and then uh, we will make the extraction. So the five simple questions are, when was Goodwill founded? Uh, you remember we are celebrating the 10 years this year, so the answer is quite easy. What is the, degrees, the degree of protection of all inverters in the Goodwill range? I mentioned several times. For the string inverters, what is the lowest nominal power for the XS model? I also mentioned this many times. For the string inverter MT, what is the highest rated power for the MT model? And finally, for the 500 kilowatt project, how many uh, ATK, M, ATK MT inverter do we recommend to use? And I already gave you this information. So, I leave uh, this slide uh, on for a few seconds more to give you the possibility to give an answer. And uh, uh, we are here um, available to provide you any answer to your technical question or commercial question. Uh, you can put this question through the chat uh, or um, you can send uh, an email and then we can answer in a second time depending on uh, what, the, what is your preference. So I come to the conclusion of my uh, presentation. Uh, I thank you very much for uh, having followed uh, our webinar. I thank uh, a lot uh, Stavros and Kranich for having organized it. Uh, really, thank you very much. So as I said, good week, good choice. We are here to help you for your job. Just ask and we will answer. Thank you very much. Uh, Walter, uh, there is an answer for you uh, on the SEMS portal. I can see the history of production. Is it possible to see the history of all other data like temperature or per string production? Yes, uh, you can have a full range of historical information which are reported uh, on the um, SEMS portal. Another important feature uh, is that uh, in case you have uh, any um, break of communication between uh, the inverter and the, uh, the cloud for any reason, the data are stored up to uh, three months. So, and then uh, you don't lose almost anything. They are stored in the inverter and then they can be transferred again to the cloud after the connection is uh, re-established. So, uh, basically, you can have all of this uh, information, including temperature, historical, and all of them uh, reported in your sample, in your SAMS uh, um, historical data. Okay, thank you very much. If uh, anyone else has other questions, please let us know. Just to complete the answer to this question, also for string, because we have string level monitoring. So also the, the historical uh, data on the string level can be uh, seen on the SEMS portal. Okay, if there are no other answers, uh, we, can, we can salute you and we can thank you for having participated to this webinar. And uh, as you already know, as Walter said, you can ask 
uh, all the information to Kranich, uh, anything you need, we will support you uh, anytime. So thank you very much. I see that other people are answering to the questioner. Thank you very much. Walter, there is one more question for you, if it's possible. I will have the question regarding the management of the claims. Whom should they be addressed to? Kranich or Goodwe? How does the process look like and how fast is the response time? It's for you and for Stavros, if you want to answer. Um, so um, let's say, Basically, um, the uh, the claims, uh, uh, let's say the first interface for the claims uh, is normally <clears throat> the distributor, but not uh, because the distributor is, is in charge for uh, handling the claims, but because the distributor has a daily uh, contact with the, the installer. But uh, uh, Trifonasa uh, is available and is our support uh, for uh, first and second level. So any kind of claims uh, will go through him. So um, we will uh, uh, inform now, we will uh, share uh, across the different uh, uh, channel uh, the information about the email and phone number of Trifonas. So uh, the Greek market, the Greek installer will be informed. Any kind of claim, but I would say claim, uh, uh, I would say any kind of support, technical support will be given by Trifonas itself. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Stavros, if you want to add something, mm, please. Uh, yeah, it's always good to know if a customer needs support. In the first step, uh, most hopefully we are going to be in the position to, to give uh, a solution. And uh, if there is more uh, expertise, uh, technical know-how, we know that we've got uh, Trifonas uh, uh, help and uh, we can manage any claim or support. But it's good to know. Let's say the time of response by Trifonas is basically immediate. <laughs> In the sense that he's there, his telephone is there, and the email uh, is there. So I know him uh, is a very, very fast reaction time uh, person. We count on that in any case. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Εγώ, εγώ με τη σειρά μου θα ήθελα να ευχαριστήσω πάρα πολύ το κοινό που ήταν σήμερα μέσα στο webinar. Είμαι ο Τρίφωνας Παυλίδης. Με γνωρίσετε στο μέλλον, όσοι δεν με γνωρίζετε ακόμα. Τρίφωνας, we cannot hear you. you it's, very low, it's very low volume of your voice. Really? Yeah. Okay. Ε, θα ήθελα να πω λοιπόν και εγώ με τη σειρά μου ότι σχετικά με τα requests που θα έχουμε, τα claims, οι απαντήσεις μας είναι πάρα πολύ γρήγορες. Θα το δείτε σαφώς στο μέλλον, καθώς υπήρξαν κάποιες περιπτώσεις σχετικά με το σετάρισμα ή το πώς θα ανέβουν οι συσκευές στο portal. Η αντίδραση μας ήταν ε, ε, μέσα σε ένα 24ωρο, είχε ληφθεί όλο το ζήτημα, συγκεκριμένα το πάρκο που μπήκε πάνω στην ε, Ξάνθη. Ε, το ανεβάσαμε στο πόρταλ μέσα σε τρεις ώρες, εφόσον έγινε η ενεργοποίηση και η ηλέκτρηση. Ήταν το πρώτο startup που κάναμε, οι αντιδράσεις μας ήταν αρκετά γρήγορες. Ε, είμαστε σε συνεχή επικοινωνία με το headquarters της ε, Γερμανίας, σε κάθε περίπτωση με τον Αλεσάνδρο τον Φάμπιο, που δυστυχώς δεν μπορούσε να είναι σήμερα μαζί μας, ένα βασικό τέλεχος. Ε, από εκεί και πέρα, θα μας γνωρίσετε και θα δείτε τι ακριβώς μπορούμε να κάνουμε και τι υπηρεσίες μπορούμε να προσφέρουμε σε ένα πολύ υψηλό επίπεδο. Ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ που ήσασταν όλοι μέσα σήμερα στο webinar. Okay. Thank you very much. So, yes.
I would like to thank you all uh, been participating to, to this webinar. Thank you for your time and we'll hope you to see you and to, uh, to work with you very soon. Thank you very much. I'm going to end hope, the webinar uh, right. My hope is that we can meet uh, directly the Greek customer in Greece quite soon. This is my hope. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye-bye.